and welcome to Array Tutorial for Beginners in C Sharp. Okay, let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to click on Reset. There. If we click on Enter the Array, there we go. And let's enter the other, the zero index, one index, two index, three index, four index. And supposing we enter invalid index, there we go. Index was out of range, as you can see. So if I click on OK, that wipes that out. Enter whatever you like, the same thing happens. You can only enter the allowed index into the array itself. There we go, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment and we put one of these beautiful tutorial together. So let's do that now, guys. I'm going to exit out there uh, minimize that. Now start a new project. Click on next. And let's give that a name. I'm going to call it CS underscore array. And click on create. There we go. Okay, guys, let's start by clicking on the toolbox. And I'm going to select a panel. Just drag it out much. There we go. And right in here, I'm going to change the back color of that very panel to get it blue. There we go. Now, let's grab hold of another panel, paste it right here, and let's change the color of this very panel to control. There, we can then copy this. We have one and I'm just gonna drag this that much and here let's drag this and just use it to yeah just something like that okay now guys we need to add some other components on the system so right here I'm going to add labels just one label really Let's come right down here and grab hold of label, paste it there. We need a text box as well, right there. One button here, we can always copy this button. But before then, let's add a list box. There's something like that. Okay, so let's select this button and change the font size to something much more readable. I'm going to make that maybe about let's say 50 something 56 okay now this button is going to be known as btn array and let's copy this so we can use it for the official name come right down here maybe we should pin this down bring it right down here paste I'm gonna call that arrays okay I'm gonna I'm now gonna copy this button and just bring it here that is going to be used as my reset button so changes to reset okay just for those of you who are new to programming in C sharp or in any other language array itself are used to store multiple value in a single variable instead of you declaring separate variable for each value so that is the advantage of array so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select these two components and let's increase the font size let's come in here and go to font let's increase it to something much more readable I'm going to make that about 36 as well and come right in here just enter some data in there to identify what we are up to so in here I'm going to just say enter the array index there we go okay brilliant that's fine now let's give this text box a name and the this text box is going to be known as txt array 
the list box is going to be known as LST or where's the I've just lost my property so I'm going to come back here you see where we have reset reset window layout click on it yes and that's it the property is back I mistakenly click on it okay I'm going to set that to LST array and this one is a reset BTN reset yeah and this one should have already has a name already that's good so everything is ready now so I'm going to double click on this array button there let's collapse this and collapse this so right inside this very button I'm going to first of all start by declaring my variable and that's going to be string variable this is how we declare an array and I'm going to call it let's just call it units with an s okay that's the name of my array so I'm going to say the first unit is going to be let's enter them within the coil braces I'm going to enter maybe about four or five so the first unit let's call that games that is my first unit then you separate it with a comma and the second one let's say is English get it separated with a comma as well then we have math and let's go for maybe physics and one more we can enter biology here now there we go and make sure you end it with a semicolon so what I've just done is the units that is offered there they are those five units and this is how you enter multiple value within an array okay. now I am now going to say as follows so let's say okay LST array dot index dot add and what I want to add is to add a unit paste unit in there and in the square bracket let's enter the value zero and you see what's going to happen now so if I run the program let's see what's going to happen there we go click on array and that display games okay if you like you can change it to whatever that's four in there and let's see what's going to happen with four there biology but the problem is supposing we enter values that is not in there because we only have one zero one two three four so if we enter nine look at what's going to happen to us the system we end up with a bug let's click on that there we go we're having an error already okay right there so I'm going to end that now I want to do one thing let's enter everything within try so that will prevent the error from happening so I'm going to copy everything in here and just put it right in here just to prevent that from happening again so I'm going to paste that in there I uh, know that's meant to be there so let's come back in here and underneath here I'm just going to enter cash exception and this exception will be let's say is ex and right underneath enter your coil braces then the next thing is we just enter message box the system has already helped me out that's very good so if I decide to enter invalid number there again let's say we enter 91 check this out the error handler will actually take care of that for me so let's see click on that see the error handler takes care of that so that's very good all right now let's look at this text box we want to use this text text box for the end user to enter each any of the index they want so let's go back in there that text box name first of all let's declare a variable we can paste the, the local variable up there so index q that is equals we can say convert 
dot to string no no dot to int 32 and what we convert in dot in 32 that's the content and the text box let's see what's the name of the text box yes txt array so I'm gonna go back in here and just change that my text box it's not a sender so that's going to be txt array dot text and that's it whatever we have in here is stored inside Q so instead of we saying 91 or whatever value we can just enter Q right in there and that should take care of that so when we run it this is what we will get click on run let's do one other thing before we click on run I'm gonna come right underneath here txt array dot text equals clear so that we can enter the next value and txt array dot focus there we go now let's run that so click and run right there so when we enter whatever value in there now the system can just search it for us there we go look at that that is brilliant check this out I'm gonna enter invalid there it's not allowed clear it enter correct value and so on so now let's just take care of the resets so in the case of the resets let's do this if we double click on let's double click on this select this come straight to the event here and let's go for event double click double click that's it for the list box double click in there we can just enter lsd array dot items dot clear and that's it taken care of now in the case of the double click we can that's double click we can copy this and paste it inside the button or we can just call this function the choice is just whatever you want to do so we can just say copy all of these that's another way out come right here paste that in there and open a bracket we get a hold of the sender that's another way to call the function within another function and that is it taken care of so we can comment this out so if I run the program now run there we go and enter whatever in there yeah zero and so on clear so try this out for double click you see that guys and that is how you create your own array that takes in more than one value okay guys so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial but let me show you guys the lines of code before I call it bye for now and there we go those are the lines of code that takes care of the array from here up to here okay and right down here are the reset functions so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful tutorial and bye for now